welcome to Two Mums and a Camera. Yes, this is filming day with our beer and our lime, and it's a nice hot summer day outside, so we are really enjoying this. We're having two days of summer, and then it's gonna rain. Pretty much. Okay. So, cheers. Cheers. You're I'm like almost done. I'm a lush. We are going to talk to you today about a story from our childhood. Mm -hmm. And this is very entertaining. I mean, when we look back on it today, it seems like one of those horror stories that, that you watch on TV and you think, oh my God, how is this is not gonna end This well. is why I hate babysitting. Babysitting is always I never scary. liked it. Right. I always used to get these jobs babysitting and I hated being alone. When the kids went to bed, I would be terrified. Mm -hmm. So I always dragged my little sister everywhere I went. So the job came up, I'd say, Shell, would you like to go babysitting with me? I gave her some money. She got to spend the whole night with me, which I'm sure was a wonderful It meant so time. much to me. And off we went. So this, and it usually was okay. We'd watch movies, they'd always leave us stuff to eat. Yeah. It was a pretty good night. We had company, we'd split the money. It was all good. Anyway, this one particular night we get there and everything went as normal. They left, we put the kids to bed. But while we were getting the kids ready for bed, we noticed that there was this huge, massive tabby cat. Now, I can't remember, was he black? Or is that just in my mind? No, and I think it was dark, black and brown spots or something. He was not pretty. He was feral. He was horror movie type cat. Yes. So this cat was big. Stephen King cat. And this cat hissed at yes. us. Did not like people. No. So he's on the stairs, hissing at us as we're trying to get the kids upstairs yeah. for their bath. And so you can imagine, we turn the corner and we're going up the stairs. So the cat is eye level with us, hissing, hair standing up. Hair standing up. up like, and his body is even bigger than his normally fat self because he's hissing at us. Right, and we don't like cats. No. Now, Nothing against cats, guys. Please don't tell us, you know, all about we cats. Love cat we love cat people. Cat people are the best. We're dog people. And I think dog people and cat people understand and respect each other, mm -hmm. but understand when we're saying we're but having issues. But this cat issues. was evil, okay? This cat was not... Even to this day, this cat, cat was evil. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so we're trying to get up these stairs with these kids. So we, we because we're such good, responsible adult children. We push the kids up first <laughs> because we figure they know the cat. The cat lives the cat with them. Lives with them. They don't, the cat doesn't know us. He's hissing at us. So we say to the kids, you, you go upstairs. And then they look at us and they're like, they're like pointing at this animal and like looking at us like, why would you leave us with the cat? Right. That was not good. Okay. So anyway, I can't remember what we did. I think we either threw something at the cat. <laughs> Or we did something. Anyway. We made our way upstairs. Now this cat is still in the hallway hissing at us. So there's this bathroom that connects to the bedroom of the To parents. the master bedroom right. and to the hallway. Right. So we managed to scoot the cat, scare it, whatever, into this bedroom, the master the bedroom. master bedroom. And shut the door. We then bathe the kids we're thinking we're, we're feeling good yeah, about ourselves got the cat we've got in the, the bathroom. cat locked in he can't get out he's done for right. the night we're laughing at him we're thinking we've right. got the last thing right bathe the kids yeah, put them to bed. bed we're like oh, we're gonna go downstairs watch movies <laughs> whole nine yards get the food get downstairs get to the halfway down the stairs and guess who's waiting at the bottom of the steps hissing at us Yes, it's the cat. So we go flying because now we're scared. How did he How get out? How did the cat get out of the bedroom? We were in the bathroom with the kids. Nobody opened that door because we okay. saw to it. This cat is evil. So now Nikki it's and I, possessed. is this the point where we get locked in the bathroom? Yes. We run to the bathroom. The cat is following us. <laughs> Okay, and we're screaming. We shut the door, we're screaming hysterically. No cell phones. No. All of a sudden, I look at my sister, and she's <laughs> bleeding. Yes, I, kid you, I swear to you. This is, the, this is a true story. We couldn't make this stuff up. I bent down to look under the door to see the cat's paw. It was like, a, it's like a horror movie. This cat's paw is coming under the door, right? But I guess when I bent down, there must have been some sort of a blood blister or something in my mouth. She had braces at the time, and there must have been something that got burst, and this blood is pouring. <laughs> so we now have Shelly bleeding profusely into the sink, because it's not bad enough that we feel we're in a horror movie. Now we have blood, people. <laughs> 
We have a crazy cat and we have blood. She's bleeding. Okay? These days were not days of cell phones. We couldn't. What did we do? I told you to wash your mouth out. Right. And, but the problem with that was it bled more. It created more. So yeah. there was more blood. And I started to feel sick and faint. So I remember sitting on the toilet at one point in time with my head between my legs thinking, I'm going to pass out. She's going to bleed to death. And they're going to find the kids eaten by the cat. And I have all these visions in my head of this. Anyway, I think what happened was one of us watched where the cat was at one side of the door. One of us ran around to the other side of the door. And um, we managed somehow to escape this cat. Went, we went, down we went back basement. downstairs. And I remember the cat literally sat on the stairs for the rest of the so night. So we did not check those children. We did not. We're sorry, parents. We did not we check did not. those We children. were hoping for the best. We could see the cat, so we knew the cat wasn't eating them. Which was the best we could do right. under the circumstances. Why did you have this cat? Right. But you know what happened? After that, I went to babysit for them again and took a friend. You were, you were done with I, these people. Yeah, I was a I went again and they had the same cat. And for some reason, the cat got outside. And I thought, great, the cat's outside. So I shut the door. So I'm like, yes, yes. Happy dance! The cat's outside. I'm gonna leave the cat outside for the night. If this cat gets lost, I don't care. It's Eaten evil. by a coyote? Okay. Bye! So, I'm dealing with the kids. My girlfriend's there. I'm feeling all happy. Ding dong! I'm like, so I go to the door and it's the neighbor holding the cat. <laughs> it's like a scene from a horror movie. Bringing the cat back because it shouldn't be outside. I, did you not look at them and say, sorry, wrong house and close the door? Because I would have. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I still have nightmares about yeah, this Yeah, we cat. still talk about this to this day. And, and how that long was, ago was We that? don't remember any other babysitting no. night, but that night was terrifying. And the bleeding and everything. Right. It's just something that we just could not make up if we tried. Yeah. So we figured you want some stories. So we thought there you go. that was a story from our childhood that and we And I'm never still forget. scarred. I'm scarred too. So I, that's why we're not cat If people. I see a kissing cat, I will run a mile because I think that they're possessed and they have powers. They're evil. They have powers, people. They do. We I, do love pretty little yes. cats. We know you guys have cats. We do. We know. Enjoy your cats. But we respect it. You know, if your cat doesn't like people, don't leave it with people. If your cat hisses at people, put it away. Put it, away. it was a very scary. We're traumatized. We are. Life. And I think that might affect the way we view cats. That's right. So it's not our fault. It's not. <laughs> We're gonna, that's our story and we're sticking, we're sticking to, to it. it. That's right. Thank so. you for watching. We really appreciate Cheers it. Cheers to dogs. <laughs>